Okay, so this is um, our first slide we needed to cover for spring break. Um, the title of this is called, Where Do We Come From? What Are We? Where Are We Going? And they're all question marks after each question. Artist is Paul Gauguin, 1897 to 98. Oil on canvas, the size of this is 4.5 or close to 4.5 by 12 and a quarter feet. Okay, so this is really large. Found in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. And Paul Gauguin is part of the Symbolist Movement. And we're going to see another artist, uh, Edward Monk, Monk um, that does the scream later on, also being part of that same movement and in, into expressionism. Okay, so a couple things we need to go ahead and just kind of clarify, address with this particular painting before we kind of go any further. Um, so content wise, um, how you're going to read this particular painting, um, traditionally we read from left to right, and but with this particular painting, uh, the way that this is being portrayed is actually you're going to read this painting from right to left. So the composition is meant to be read, uh, read as you're looking at this. Start in the direction on the right side go this way go left okay so it's um, supposed to be designed to recall frescoes um, icons painted in, on a gold ground okay so let's as we're doing this um, I want you to on your slide I need for you to just go ahead and label a few things so I want you to just pay so you can kind of just you know see what's going on in this painting because there's a lot Okay, your eyes kind of unsettling and you got this guy kind of looks like Jesus in the center. Not sure what he's up to just yet. Okay, so let's start on the right hand side because that's where Gauguin wanted us to kind of start. And basically we're going to start where we see a baby. Okay, and that's basically trying to just um, answer the question, where did we come from? Okay, so we see like a sleeping child right here. You can identify. Um, right here we have a group of three women. Um, behind the women, we have uh, a, fi a fig figure <clears throat> meant to be out of proportion. And you have two people that are behind this figure. Um, and it looks like they are thinking of their destiny. Okay. Then you got the guy that kind of looks like Jesus because he's barely wearing anything. He is picking fruit and he is answering the question, where are we? Okay, um, and where the setting is, if um, you got a chance to read the article, um, this is supposed to be part of Gauguin's visit when he went to Tahiti. So he is painting from scenes from Tahiti and people that live there. Uh, let's continue on. So we got our guy picking fruit. Moving on to the left of him, we got two cats. We got a child. We have somewhere where they're supposed to be. I think he's right here it's saying a white goat. Um, and then if you also notice right above this white goat, we kind of see someone that I feel like we've maybe seen and maybe some of like our Asian slides. Um, this is supposed to be an idol with arms. And they're kind of in rhythm and they're indicating the beyond and everlasting. So I think you can kind of get that just as to the way that there are, his arms are kind of positioned, how they're sticking out. Okay, and let's see, before I get on to the very end, um, just to kind of back up a little bit, this little area right here might look like a mountain to you, and it's saying it's one of Tahiti's mountain volcanoes. So this is, you can just label it as a mountain slash volcano, okay? And let me just see. Okay. And then just to wrap it up, I just wanted to make sure I didn't jump to the conclusion yet. Um, it's basically where we're seeing an old woman at the very end. And she's kind of sitting down. She looks kind of upset. Her hands are kind of covering her face. Where are you going? And basically, this is supposed to be showing acceptance. Acceptance because at the very end of your life... Um, death is what is going to happen and everything uh just resigning in her own thoughts is kind of where she's kind of at in her life and then off to the side we got a white bird representing fulfilling of words so maybe showing a little bit of hope 
okay? Maybe some connections with um, maybe like the white dove from like Christianity. Could we see some sort of a, a connection there, okay? Um, and then let's see. So we went through the oil painting, covered some of our main features, our main characters, just to kind of point them out. If you notice, none of the figures are in proportion. They are deliberately out of proportion, and that is something that Paul Gauguin has deliberately done. Okay, so if you can just kind of know also, none of the figures, they're in proportion. You can see there's some sort of a ground level. You can see some people are kind of more in the foreground, um, like these women and our guy picking fruit. And then you can kind of see somewhat of like a hor horizon on the back, towards the back, um, to kind of indicate that that's just, this is going into like middle ground, into, into the way back where our volcano mountains are located. So basically what we have here in latent terms is we see an island landscape with humans and animals. Quoted from his um, article, I have finished a philosophical theme comparable to that of the Gospels. So again, this is just supposed to be questioning life. Um, having that title really be kind of the backbone as to why he did all these particular figures and the way that they they are positioned so where do we come from what are we where are we going this kind of is answering as we had gone through just kind of identifying some of the main figures so again like i said this was when he spent some time in tahiti um, he actually went there twice from 1891 to 93 and then another time from 95 to 1903 so this was painted while he lived on the island of Tahiti. Um, at first, he felt like this was one of his most finest works, um, and he shall never do anything better or even like it quoted. Basically, he finished this so fast. He finished this within a month of when he was over there. And when he finished, again, he shall never do anything better than this. Um, he actually went to the mountains and he tried to commit suicide. So for this theme, for this particular painting, we're looking at life, death, poetry. Uh, this can also be showing uh, self-promotion. And he dies really young. He dies at the age of 54. Uh, he went to Paris after it was completed, but he didn't... What did I say? He didn't... Oh, he was aware of like the Parisian market, um, and they weren't really kind of drawn to this type of a, a genre scene a theme you know they're still wanting more of like the academic type of paintings so this wasn't really the direction that they were going in um, as far as accepting this particular painting so again this was when he was on the island of tahiti that's really all i have for my notes i know this one's kind of short and sweet um, again just kind of pay attention to the figures what they're supposed to be representing. You got your baby, you got your guy picking fruit, and then you got your old lady. Those are probably your three main ones that you really need to pay attention to. Pay attention also to, um, final note for this is going to be about the color. Okay, look at the color. Look at, it's got a pretty good range from your cool colors, which they are kind of more located in the back. They kind of recede more. And then you got your warmer colors. So it's like the skin tone, that yellow chrome color that's kind of um, embedded in their skins. And then you can even see a little bit of it on either end, the top, the top um, left and right hand corner. And I think you got his name that he actually signed this. So this uh, is dealing with a, an array of color. Um, warms and cools definitely dominating the cools are receding and the warms are kind of being more drawn to the foreground all right um that's going to be it for us